it's really cool, you know, because you, you can sit there on your iPhone or whatever phone you have or video and just see everything. But to be here and to feel that sonic boom. Now, they didn't know what to expect and they were wondering kind of why we were going. But I think now after seeing it and hearing those booms, I mean, I got chills, I think they did, and it's just so exciting. Like, we're gonna go, next we're going to see SpaceX. What we're hoping is that uh, after this big launch, they'll start doing launches more frequently. So my vision is that they build some type of viewing site out near the Blue Origin launch site where people will be able to go, whether they sell tickets or however they do it, but make it be to where the public can come and see the launch, to where they'll come and stay in Van Horn and. Uh, stay in our hotels, eat in our restaurants, stay an extra day, go see the, the things that we have around town. Di luar harapan dan juga pujian terhadap potensi dari wisata antariksa, ada juga sorotan dan bahkan kecaman terhadap wisata antariksa mengingat dampak lingkungan yang bisa ditimbulkan dan apakah emisi dari peluncuran roket bakal lebih parah lagi dibandingkan dengan emisi dari penerbangan komersial saat ini. Lagi pula penerbangan seperti ini hanya bisa dinikmati segelintir saja umat manusia. Harga peluncuran roket Virgin Galactic misalnya diperkirakan untuk masing-masing penumpang akan seharga 250.000 dolar atau setara dengan harga sebuah apartemen kecil di kota seperti Washington DC. Dari Washington DC saya Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA. Kalau diaduk-aduk jadi cair. <laughs> diaduk kayaknya ya. <laughs> oh, perlu luar negeri gimana ya? Ini, ini demi kemajuan bangsa Indonesia. Isu kebangkitan uh, PKI ini uh, dihentikan. Oh. Medcom.id, a part of Media Group News.